Fire in the Blood, Wikipedia Audio Fire in the Blood is an internationally acclaimed 2013 documentary by Dylan Moen Gray depicting the intentional obstruction of low-cost antiretroviral drugs used for treatment of HIV-AIDS from reaching people in the countries of Africa and other parts the global south, spearheaded by Western pharmaceutical companies armed with patent monopolies and various rich country governments doing their bidding. The documentary also shows how the battle against this blockade, estimated to have resulted in 10 to 12 million completely unnecessary deaths, was fought and won. Fire in the Blood features contributions from former U.S. President Bill Clinton, intellectual property activist James Love, global health reporter Donald McNeil, Jr. of the New York Times. HIV-AIDS treatment activist Zaki Akhmat, pioneering generic drug maker Yusuf Hamid, former Pfizer executive turned whistleblower Peter Rost, Ugandan AIDS physician Peter Mujianii, and Nobel Prize laureates Desmond Tutu and Joseph Stiglitz. The film is narrated by Academy Award-winning actor William Hurt who lent his voice to the film on a pro bono basis because he felt the story and subject matter were so important. Production In November 2013, Fire in the Blood set a new all-time record for the longest theatrical run by any non-fiction feature film in Indian history. It is the first Indian non-fiction feature to be theatrically released in either the US or the UK. Filmmaker Dylan Moen Gray first came to know of the issue in 2004, after he read an article in The Economist about the battle between pharmaceutical companies and the global public health community over access to lower-cost AIDS drugs for Africa. He decided to make the film three years later. The film was shot on four continents from March 2008 to the end of 2010 while editing was completed in 2012. The film was first released theatrically in Ireland on February 21, 2013, with the UK premiere the following day. It was released theatrically in the US on September 7, 2013 and in India on October 11 the same year, to outstanding reviews. The film was released on the iTunes UK store in mid-2013, and worldwide on VOD via its website in 2014. It released in the UK and India on DVD in the first quarter of 2014. Thus far the film has been broadcast on television in the following countries, beginning in late 2013, Finland, Israel, Norway, Spain, Switzerland, Austria, Poland, Ireland, Brazil, Denmark, the United States and Japan. Transnational broadcasters include AJE, Al Jazeera Arabic and Al Jazeera Balkans, along with DSTV and Jihad across Sub-Saharan Africa as part of the AfriDox initiative. Fire in the Blood was the first Indian film to be selected for the World Cinema Documentary Competition at the Sundance Film Festival and subsequently participated in numerous leading film festivals in dozens of countries all over the world. Fire in the Blood received very positive critical notices, both to its North American premiere at the 2013 Sundance Film Festival as well as to its subsequent theatrical releases in Ireland, Britain, the United States and India. Release The influential film review aggregator website Rotten Tomatoes has given Fire in the Blood a 92% fresh rating based on 24 reviews as of January 2014. This ranks the film within the 5 to 10% best reviewed films of 2013. Certain critics, such as Gary Goldstein of the Los Angeles Times, 
while acknowledging the enormous importance of the topic, felt the film should have taken a more emotional approach to its incendiary subject. Many others, however, such as the legendary English critic Philip French, who in his review for The Observer described the film as quietly devastating, praised Gray's choice in avoiding a polemical tone and allowing the material to speak for itself. Writing in Sight and Sound, Ashley Clark called fire in the blood stirring and added Gray deserves credit for his own restraint. Such is the clarity of his ideological stance that any grandstanding would feel redundant. David Rooney of The Hollywood Reporter echoed this view, stating that the admirable balance between impassioned argument and clear-sighted reporting in Dylan Moe and Gray's chronicle of the why and how makes fire in the blood indispensable viewing, adding that the very smart, extremely moving film is a shocking account of international trade terrorism sanctioned by Western governments and a powerful documentary that demands to be seen by as wide an audience as possible. Author John L. E. Kerr called Fire in the Blood a blessing, full of conviction, passion, and unanswerable argument. Australian-British journalist and documentary filmmaker, John Pilger wrote Fire in the Blood is one of the most powerful, important, and humane documentaries I have ever seen. It's the story of ordinary people standing up to unaccountable power. The struggle to save millions from the ravages of untreated HIV is revealed as a struggle against the new lords of the world, transnational corporations, their greed, and lies. Genuine hope is rare these days you'll find it in this film. Former United Nations Special Envoy for HIV-AIDS in Africa Stephen Lewis said I was enraged as I watched, thinking of those years I spent as the envoy, watching people die. I rarely watch AIDS documentaries, they're remarkably repetitive as a rule, largely uninspired and yielding almost nothing new is in a wholly different category, a terrific, riveting documentary, dramatic, compelling, but most of all, wonderfully humane. A remarkably gifted documentary filmmaker. Awards and nominations. Critical response. Special screenings of Fire in the Blood for policymakers have been held in such fora as the United Nations headquarters in New York City and Vienna, the European Parliament in Brussels, the World Health Assembly and UNAIDS headquarters in Geneva, along with dedicated screenings for lawmakers in Washington and New Delhi, and one hosted by the Indian Ministry of External Affairs for ambassadors and consuls accredited to India. Other Reactions Special Screenings Milestones <laughs>